Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the dark and fascinating stories of the past. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most notorious and infamous rulers of all time, Caligula, the Roman emperor who was so mad and evil that he made Nero look like a saint. Caligula was a tyrant who committed unspeakable crimes against humanity, and who believed he was a living god. He was also a victim of his own madness, and met a bloody end at the hands of his own guards. In this video, we will take a look at his life and atrocities, and try to understand what made him so twisted and deranged. But before we dive into the story of Caligula, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Also, if you enjoy our content, please give us a like and share this video with your friends. It really helps us grow and make more videos like this. Thank you for your support. Now, let's begin with the birth and childhood of Caligula. Caligula was born in 12 AD in the heart of Rome, as the third son of Germanicus, a popular and successful general, and Agrippina, a powerful and ambitious woman. He was named Gaius Julius Caesar Germanicus, after his famous ancestor, Julius Caesar. He was also given the nickname, Caligula, which means, little boot, in Latin, by the soldiers who admired his father and saw him wearing a miniature military outfit as a child. Caligula's childhood was not a happy one. He grew up in a brutal and ruthless environment, where violence, intrigue, and betrayal were common. His father died when he was seven, possibly poisoned by Emperor Tiberius, who saw him as a rival. His mother and two brothers were also killed or exiled by Tiberius, who feared their popularity and influence. Caligula was the only surviving male member of his family, and he learned to hide his emotions and play the role of a loyal and obedient nephew to Tiberius, who adopted him as his heir. But behind his mask of innocence, Caligula was already showing signs of insanity and violence. He was said to have a cruel and sadistic nature, and enjoyed torturing animals and slaves. He also had a sexual appetite that knew no bounds, and indulged in incest, adultery, and rape. He was obsessed with power and glory, and dreamed of becoming an emperor and a god. His dream came true in 37 AD, when Tiberius died, and Caligula became the new emperor of Rome at the age of 25. At first, he was welcomed by the people and the Senate, who hoped he would be a better ruler than his uncle. He also seemed to be a generous and benevolent leader, who granted amnesty to political prisoners, abolished treason trials, reduced taxes, and gave lavish gifts and entertainments to the public. But this was only a brief period of grace, as Caligula soon revealed his true colors. He became paranoid and megalomaniacal, and declared himself a god. He demanded that people worship him and his statues, and even built a bridge between his palace and the Temple of Jupiter, so he could mingle with the gods. He also replaced the heads of statues of gods and heroes with his own face, and ordered that coins be minted with his image on both sides. Caligula's bizarre and cruel acts did not stop there. He committed incest with his sisters, and impregnated and killed one of them. He forced the senators' wives and daughters to work in a brothel, and humiliated them by selling them to the highest bidder. He made his horse, Incitatus, a senator and his only friend, and even planned to make him a consul. He tortured and killed people for his amusement, and enjoyed watching gladiator fights and executions. He also waged war against the sea, and collected seashells as spoils of war. Caligula's reign of terror lasted for four years, and during that time, he alienated and angered almost everyone. He desired a great disaster or defeat to be remembered, and said, let them hate me, so long as they fear me. He provoked the wrath and resentment of the people and the Senate, who plotted to overthrow him. He also made enemies among his own guards, who felt betrayed and insulted by his actions. His downfall came in 41 AD, when he was attacked by his own guards in a dark corridor of his palace. He was stabbed 30 times, in a scene reminiscent of the assassination of Julius Caesar. His wife and daughter were also killed, and his body was buried in a shallow grave. His family was wiped out, and his memory was erased from history by the Senate and the Republic, who restored the rule of law and order. Caligula was one of the most hated and feared emperors of Rome, and his name became synonymous with madness and evil. He was a monster who committed atrocities that shocked and disgusted even the Romans, who were used to violence and decadence. He was also a mystery, as historians still debate what caused his insanity and megalomania. Was it a genetic disorder, a brain disease, a psychological trauma, or a divine curse? We may never know for sure, but we can learn from his story, and hope that history does not repeat itself. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What do you think of Caligula and his atrocities? Do you know any other stories of mad and evil rulers? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.
We upload new videos every week, and we have more amazing stories of history to share with you. Stay tuned for more history uncovered.